I'm going to say this and don't get upset. There's nothing bad, but I just an observation. He seemed to get worse after he got married. Yes. Like he was doing so well. I know. And then he got married and it, I know. it became a sh show. I know. I had blinders on. I didn't want to see it. I didn't believe it. But when I look back at all the warning signs, you know, even what Bethany says haunts me. You are having any doubts. You don't have to do I'm it. I'm not. No. You can't say things but like that. But I can that. say things like that because I don't think you guys are a good guy. I didn't want to see that. I didn't want to believe it. But after a certain amount of time, everything that the girls were saying was kind of true. I couldn't stop this like merry-go-round of like the going out and I would go home and he wasn't home and then somebody would send me a picture and there's Tom out again. It just didn't stop. Ultimately for me, the last straw was really the lack of respect. From meeting up with ex-girlfriends every other day to being caught kissing a woman at a bar to being out all night and not coming home. One of 10 things that he's ever said to you, right. I'd be like crying how... in the bathroom. Like she's right well, about why the pretender. Why do you pretender. think I stayed at the hotel last night? Okay. It didn't stop and I, mean, I couldn't breathe. I was like choking. Every day there was something. I felt like the water was just tumbling in and I couldn't keep my head above the water. I was drowning. I suffered a lot. I mean, I really suffered a lot. Do you still hear from him? I, yeah, in text. So there's no, like, feelings of, you know, running back and... Well... No. No, you're no tempting. No. Good. Well, that's good. But at the end of the day, he truly was a leopard that couldn't change his spots. Yeah. Was I sad for her? Absolutely. Now, was I horrified and surprised? No. I don't think Tom's a bad guy. I just don't think Tom should be a married guy.